Hello and welcome back to a new video. So today what we have here on the bench for the second time now is my personal Xbox 360. Now there is a little bit of a story behind this. So a couple of weeks ago I got that infamous red ring of death and I did open it up. I did fix the red ring and it was working perfectly. Also, while I had it apart, I did do a full reconditioning of the console, so I took it, stripped it completely down, cleaned it up, uh, opened up the disk drive, cleaned that out. It really wasn't that bad. Um, I was actually pretty impressed. The worst part about that was the fan. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I was finally playing it, and it was working fine for a few hours, and then out of nowhere, the system just completely froze up. And... I restarted the system, and as it was booting up, then it just started making this horrible, horrible grinding noise. And I opened the disk drive, and I noticed that there was a swirl on the bottom of the disk. Thankfully, I got the swirl off the disk, so that's, that's been saved. But when I was actually working on the disk drive, what happened was that there was a, I believe there was a screw that wasn't seating properly. I don't know why. It wasn't, but I was having a lot of difficulty in it, and I finally got it in, and I assumed everything was all hunky-dory. Well, what that grinding on the disk drive is telling me is something happened where the laser's not moving, and it probably popped it up and, and scratched the disk. So I think that that's where the point of failure was. So what we're going to be doing in this video is opening this back up, we're gonna open the disk drive and see what kind of carnage there was. Hopefully there's not too much and I can fix it. Um, worst case scenario, I do have a spare 360 that I can salvage parts from. So hopefully it doesn't come to that, but we'll see. So let's get this thing open and get cracking. Let's start off by taking this off. Those things are always on so tight. These are always such a pain in the ass. Bottom is a little less annoying. We'll be doing a little more in-depth guide on how to do this in a future video. So I'm just kind of just trudging along here. I'm just gonna shove that in there for now. I did use a special tool that I ordered off Amazon. I'll go more in depth in, in that in like a future video. You just want to be careful taking it out because last time every one of these tabs broke and you can see the vast amounts of epoxy I put on it. Glad to see that it's holding now. Now there's some screws I need to remove. I only need to remove the long screws that hold the other half of the shell on 
So what they should be is these flat top screws. If I was removing the motherboard too, I would remove every, every screw back here. But I don't need to do that. Oh, duh. Genius. I gotta remove this too. Just pops out. Now this should come off. Oh, so the, this is usually attached to the plastic, but I actually took it apart when I was reconditioning the console, so that this should all come out as one piece. But if you remove the uh, shield, then it won't. And it just slides up. Not sure if this is going to come up on camera, but... Yeah, something's rattling around in there. And we just got four screws to remove. now. Yep, I know where that screw's from. Good lord. Well, that'll certainly do it. <laughs> That's probably, I can actually see where it might have been rubbing on my disc. Could explain why it, uh, because it was plastic instead of like glass or metal or whatever. It's probably why it didn't permanently scratch my disc, so I'm happy about that. But now we gotta see if we can get this reattached properly. But first we gotta get this disc tray out. And might as well take this off. So how I'm gonna remove it is there's a sliding rail right here. That's that. Doesn't need to come out completely. Let's see if we can get this in. So I'm not sure if I just put this in improperly or what, so we're gonna try to reseat it. But there are three nubs and there's corresponding holes on the laser itself. And then this has to sit flush in here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Screw is not going in. But it's weird because by itself, the screw goes in. So this is just very interesting. So on the top here, the screw just falls right in the place. But when I go and look on the bottom, you can see the screw there, but it doesn't seem like it goes all the way through for the threads to catch. So I don't know if like, maybe they had like a glob of something underneath here. And when I removed the screw, it broke that seal. So I'm kind of a little at a loss of what to do here. So do I go the epoxy route and just put a glob of epoxy in there? 
but I don't also want anything permanent because if I have to open this up again, meaning if I have to open this up again because the laser dies, which, I mean, for anything disk based, it is an eventuality, I still need this part because lasers never come with this part. So, I don't know if I should try another screw, see if I have one in there, do the epoxy route, or do like a weaker adhesive, or maybe some kind of a thread locker. I don't know, I gotta ruminate on this one and then get, and then uh, come back to this. So it's the next day now and I took a trip to the store and I made an executive decision on what I'm going to do to get that screw to stay in there. And my solution is crazy glue. Now, kind of what my thinking on this is, is uh, even though crazy glue is a little more permanent, I do believe you can break it down with acetone. So if I ever need to change the laser and have to reuse this plastic piece, I might be able to put a little acetone on there and pull the screw back out. But I guess we'll see, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. So for now, um, it should be good enough to just hold that screw in place. So. Let's get this thing opened up and cracked open and see what happens. So I think the best way to do this, well, first of all, make sure everything's seated. So once this goes in, that's it. Let's put a couple drops. Um, well, I'll put a couple drops on the side here. So we're just going to put one drop right down there. And that should hold the screw in place. There we go. So the bottom isn't fully dry, but I, I took a pick and kind of spread it around on the bottom of the drive. So that should dry momentarily. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna give this the uh, little bit of a strength test. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. All right, very good. All right, so only thing left to do is to put this all back together and give it a nice test. Okie dokie, so now we are back on the main page here. I got my copy of Dark Star 1, which is the game I've been obsessed with. And we're gonna see if this will load. It's also the game I was playing when the uh, console broke. Both times, actually. Sweet. All right. I'm happy. Yes, right at the loading screen or the main screen. This is perfect. Happy birthday to me. 
Well, that was a nice easy fix. Is there any problem that Crazy Glue can't solve? Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna finish out my birthday night by playing a little bit of Dark Star 1, cracking open a beer, and then going to bed. So, with that said, thank you so much for coming along on this video. Like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, just uh, leave it down in the comment section below. Uh, I've definitely been enjoying like interacting with everybody. It's been it's been a lot of fun. So, so thank you all for the for the support and the viewership. It's really helping this channel grow, and that that's amazing. So thank you. Um, so with that being said, uh, I'm gonna be taking off. I'll catch you on the next video. And remember, fix it. Don't ditch it. Have a good one.